Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we've got another update for the 2020 Vision project. Um, as I'm sure you all know by now, but just to be sure, this is a collab and it has been organized by Hailey from Makeup Tips 102, Elizabeth from Cookie Pants, both on Instagram, and Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It, who is on Instagram and YouTube. Um, so the purpose of this project, just to quickly explain it again, is to finish off 20 beauty items and 20 makeup items before 2020 starts. This project lasts about a year and a half, so you'd say it should be fairly easy to actually finish these products. Now I'm starting to doubt whether I will be finishing all of these items by then. I know some items I won't be finishing, but especially on the makeup side, I've still got quite a bit of work to do. So let's take a look at them anyway. Um, first off, the beauty products, because I've only got one, we can be pretty quick about that. This is the Image Skin Care Clear Cell Clarifying Pads. Um, I've been using them a little bit more. I am right here right now. Um, so I've tried to use them every other day now, which doesn't really seem to have like a bad effect on my skin. Um, it's I do feel it work, but at the same time, I don't feel like this is really fixing anything. I've still got these little bits of unevenness going on, especially in my chin area, but that's that's just how things work for me. Um, so yeah, I uh, still have quite a way to go on this one, so let's see. Now for the makeup items, um, I've actually got quite a bit right next to me to show you guys, because at least I try to incorporate as much as possible in the face that I have on today, so I at least use them once, and I only show you guys the products that I've actually made some sort of progress on. I thought it would be a good reminder for us to even remember what is in this project. There are two lip glosses and one, what is it, one lip balm that I didn't use this month, but all the other products I've at least touched once. Um, one of the products that I touched once <laughs> is this Lancome, um, done that black shadow, this kind of a deluxe size quattro that I'm working on, kind of, sort of. I've got two black eyeshadows in my Panda palette, so this one isn't getting too much attention. But I did use this to darken up my outer V and as my like shadow eyeliner today. So at least I've used it once. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say about it. I'm really working very hard on the ones in my Panda palette, so I can hopefully get this as a focus a little bit more at some point. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Then the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Apocalyptic. I'm wearing this right now, a very bright pink, almost leaning towards red. Um, I do really, really love this, especially for summertime, and I have used it actually multiple times over the last month. Nothing major, but I think I've used it like five, six times, so you won't see any progress on this, especially because the top part is black. It's going to take forever for this to show any progress, but I'm using it. So that's a good thing. That's more than I've done for most of this year. And then we're going on to this um, eyeshadow, I don't know what it is, eyeshader pencil, I think is what it's called from Miss Helen. Um, I've used up the dark side already last time and this is all I've got left, which is uh, everything on the light side. And I've, I'm already starting to get difficulties with sharpening it because my grip is not really what it's supposed to be anymore because the biggest part of this is in the sharpener at this point. Um, so I'm pretty certain this one will be done by the next time, so <laughs> I will finally have another finished product again. Which is nice and exciting, like if, even if you can see, like if I put the cap on I have to make sure I don't slid it on, I don't slide it on too far because it's almost disappearing in there. So yeah, working on this, using this pretty much every day, and I'm almost there. So really excited about that one. Um, then another one that I'm using pretty much every day is my Catrice Eye eyeshadow is my Catrice lipstick in lovely rose um, this is a pink lipstick but it's a little bit on the metallic -y side I'm not a huge fan of this on my lips so I've started to use this as a like cream blush and it works it works okay for that um, yeah you guys can kind of see I've got another blush on top of it so you don't see too much of it anymore anyway but I'm making a little bits of progress this way so I still have hope that this one will be finished by the end of the year then a lip product that I do use very regularly is the Sleep Pad Polish from the Avoir La Peche collection in Sugar May. Um, the pen does keep growing on this one. I still feel like I need another few months to actually finish this one off, so hopefully we can at least do so by the end of the year. But we're making progress. Things are happening. 
that is already a good thing in comparison with a lot of the other products that are still in this project so yeah i'm happy about this one um it works fine it doesn't give me too much color it gives a little bit of that orange tint but that's all it's a lip balm so that's what you would expect anyway then uh my nars uh, highlighter in albatross i have used once i'm wearing right now this lovely shine on my cheeks I do really really like this but I'm just too focused on the other highlighter, my uh, Too Faced Snow Bunny bronzer which I'm using as a highlighter. So I haven't really touched this one too much. The other one I'm already doubting whether I can finish that one off so I just want to try and get at least one product out this year which probably is not going to be this one. So yeah I do really really love this and in the next year I'm definitely going to work on this more. But I'm hoping to at least make a little bit of progress on this. If I could hit pan, that would be amazing. But I'm doubting whether that's going to happen. But we'll see. And then we've got the e.l.f. blush. And I had not used it at all the whole year yet. I still had a little um, piece of tape on top of it for traveling purposes to make sure it didn't fall out. Um, I used it today. I'm wearing it. I've used it once. So that's something at least. I do realize that I really, really like this because this is such a subtle blush. It's just kind of a, okay, I'm a little flushed. This is not a pink. This is not a like peachy color. It's like just a flushed color. Um, it's called Joy, by the way. I don't think I told you guys that yet. Um, but yeah, I do really, really like it, but I'm still working on two other blushes. Although I do feel like I will be able to finish those off um, within the next couple of months. So I'm hoping that I can at least start to make some progress on this one. Um, over the next couple of months as well. Then we've got this Da Vinci pigment um, in Deja Vu and I have used this once again as well. I've got this in my inner corners today. Um, I've still got another eyeshadow again that I'm focusing on for my inner corners so this one isn't really um, yeah, being used for a whole lot yet except for this one time but I just wanted to make sure I don't forget about the fact that this even exists. So i tried to use it, I did use it, um, it's nice, it's just a nice glittery, very sheerish pink, um, yeah, but there is still so much product in here, this pigment is definitely not going to be done by the end of the year, there is what 1.75 grams of product in here, I don't know what that is in other skills because it doesn't say anything here, but yeah, we'll see what we can do with that one. Then the other one that I'm working on as well, another eyeshadow type product, is this Catrice um, Duo in Help I'm Stranded. But I'm still only working on the dark side because the gold that was in here I finished off, I think maybe almost two, two years ago already at this point. Um, so yeah, I used this in my crease today, so I've used it once as well. I have used it a little bit before I put it in this project as well. So in the close-up, because I don't think I actually showed you guys a proper close-up of this before, you can see the usage, you can see it's been used. There, like when I look at it, there is a little bit of a dip, but I don't know whether you guys will be able to see that in the close-up. But yeah, um, I still have a few other like colors that I can use in my crease and I don't want to make things too dark, especially now that I'm using the blacks quite a bit as well. Uh, but if I do finish those ones off soon-ish, uh, I will definitely start to use this one a little bit more in my crease. So let's see if we actually get to that point. Okay, and that is it. Those are all the products that I have been working on. Even if only once, I did use them, so that's something. We're making little bits of progress. Um, but I am hoping that at least this one will be finished by next time. So that will be one more product that I can tick off. But as you can see, the other products will definitely last me a little bit of time still. I'd say probably these two are the ones that will move the quickest. And possibly once I start focusing on it, this one too. Um, but yeah, those other two lip glosses and the lip balm. The lip balm, I'm not sure if I'm really going to get to this year. Lip glosses, I'm hoping I will be able to kind of roll into my routine a little bit later in the year still though. So let's see. Um, that's it for now. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye bye.